In the race for the three-year-old Philly Eclipse Award, Serena Song owned all the numbers. She won nine graded stakes and over one and a half million dollars while defeating her own group five times in six attempts. But the story here is what she accomplished outside of her division and how in each of her races following a loss, she rebounded with an eye-opening victory. The first headline grabber was the Jim Beam, and even though she was four to five against the boys, there were those ready to say she should have stayed with her own kind. All she did was treat a pretty good field with total disdain, leaving them behind like parsley on a plate. Then came the Kentucky Derby debacle, a well-beaten 16. But just two weeks later, Serena showed she hadn't lost a step as she romped by nine in the Black Eyed Susan. Then, following a defeat at 1-10 to 10 in the CCA Oaks, she picked on the boys again. Gary Stevens employed the winning colors Kentucky Derby move on the turn, as Serena saw sprinted well clear. 46 left for the half, and there she goes! Serena Song takes the lead, opens up by two on the turn, and now she's three on top, and she will take some catching. Racing in second position is Citadine, and Pyramid Peak is making his run on the outside, but Serena Song is in command here. She went three quarters in one, ten and two. was indeed a sweet victory for owners Bob and Beverly Lewis, and especially for trainer Wayne Lucas, who had been hearing a lot of suggestions that the filly had been raced too hard. Then in her third dramatic rebound following the loss, the daughter of Rocky took on Heavenly Pride, the leader of the older mare division at that time. Using her superior speed to great advantage, Serena Song employed that now familiar strategy, open up and hold on. The Bell Dame was her sixth grade one win of the year, racing in California, Kentucky, Maryland, New York, and New Jersey. Yes, Serena Song is unique, much like the balloon of the same name, which is specifically designed for a handicapped passenger. Both Serena Songs brought a lot of thrills in 95, and this one has brought home an eclipse. Beverly Lewis accepting the Eclipse Award on behalf of their wonderful filly, Serena Song, who took them on quite a tour of American Mr. racetracks Christian, last year, much, and, and she's already and started it up again uh, in 1996. I'm only going to be just a, a moment here, and truly, Tom, it, it's been a year that was simply unbelievable, and uh, then to have her bounce back in her first race in a grade one situation here uh, the 27th of uh, January was really a great thrill. That, you know, when you have uh, had a layup with a horse for almost three months and one thing or another, you have to ask yourself the big question. But uh, Serena's song came through like gangbusters. She was just marvelous. She looked great this year. Of course, she looked great all of last year. And Beverly, she took you to some places, some great racing places that I don't think you guys had ever been before. Oh, I mean, we uh, went to Belmont Park. We went to Monmouth. A lot of people have not experienced Monmouth, and it is a just a great track. The atmosphere and the racing is just marvelous. And uh, Turfway Park and uh, Arlington. Well, no, I don't know. Trina Song didn't take us to Arlington. No, no, no. But no. we experienced a lot of beautiful tracks. And we look, really went around the barn, Tom, I'll tell you. <laughs>